What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement your own key commands inside of Logic Pro X, so let's get right to it. All right, so key commands, also known as hotkeys inside of any software is when you use a series of instructions on your keyboard, like let's say command S for save, command A to select all. But this time I'm gonna show you how you can create your own inside of Logic Pro X instead of using just the original ones that come with the program. So let's go ahead and see where we find the key command list. So it's gonna be under the Logic Pro X, you're gonna find key commands and then you're gonna to go to where it says edit. You can also press option K to open up the menu. So let's go ahead and do that. So the menu looks something like this. So it might open up with all of the menus expanded. The way you can collapse all of these is by hitting this little gear thing on the top left corner, and then you're gonna hit where it says collapse all. So I'm gonna do something simple, like we're gonna create a key command where I only want to select all of my audio tracks here. So what I did was I populated my logic session with audio tracks instrument tracks and MIDI tracks. And all I want to do is select my audio tracks. So all I want to do is click my audio tracks without having to click each and every one of them while holding command. I want to do it with one key command or a hot key, however you want to call it. So let's go ahead and open up the main window tracks because this is where we're going to find this select audio tracks. And notice how I already have a key command selected. So let me go ahead and just delete this one. So I'm gonna press delete and that's how you delete a key command. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press here where it says learn by key label. When you press learn by key label, once it's highlighted, you can now go ahead on your keyboard and create your shortcut. So I'm gonna use command control, shift and A is going to be the hot key for select audio tracks. And notice how here I was able to assign it and now this is available to use inside of my project. What if you have a key command and it's already being used? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm just gonna use a very common key command like command A. So when you do command A, you're gonna see this prompt come up saying, keyboard shortcut already in use at lower priority, meaning there's something here that command A is already assigned to. In this case, it's select all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cancel just so I don't move anything. And I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna create my key command again. So I'm gonna use, Command, Control, Shift, and A. So there I have it. If you're using a Mac Pro, you can also create shortcuts using the touch bar. So here you can pretty much click on this and then you would click a button on your touch bar to make a key command by using the touch bar on your Mac Pro. This is only available, of course, on the laptop versions. So if you're using a desktop, an iMac, or a Mac Mini, you're gonna have to use the key command up here. So once we have that all settled, we can close this. And now when I go inside of my project window and I hit the key commands, command, control, shift, and A, it's gonna go ahead and select all of my audio tracks just like it did. So now let's say I have them all unorganized like here. If I just click now and drag this, they will all come together and now I can position them wherever I want all together. That is the power of creating your key commands because now you have control over what tracks you select, whether it's audio, whether it's instruments, or whether it's MIDI. And of course, if there's a key command that you like or you like to use and it's already using something else, you can always override it and just personalize this to however you see fit. So again, that was in the main windows and then I can go ahead and select not only just audio tracks, but now I can choose like select all my MIDI tracks or select my aux tracks or instrument tracks. You have the liberty of choosing whichever one of these, and I just used A for audio. So let's say I wanna create another key command. I can just select, let's say, select all instrument tracks. Learn by key label is on, so I can go ahead and press Command, Control, Shift, and I for instrument. And notice how, there you go. I clicked on it and it already selected that key command for me. I'm gonna go in here, deselect all of these audio tracks, and I'm gonna click on the key command I just created. 
and that's a key command that's now saved inside of Logic anytime I boot it up. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go ahead and check it out. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.